this week we're going to be talking about landing pages and all the um, things that I learned this week when putting together our own landing page to start converting some of those leads that I've been getting on LinkedIn by directing all of my marketing efforts to a landing page where they can book a free Zoom coffee with me. Hey vlog, so it's Monday. We're going through our review session this morning and then I'm going to be, and then I'm going to be planning the week, trying to find out what my objective is and figure out what the next steps are. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to figure out what the overall goal is for the week and that then leads into the tasks that I'm going to plan after that. I'm like crazy tired vlog. I spent the whole weekend skateboarding and weightboarding. Here's a video of that now. Sorry. The whole point of doing my review on a Friday is that it allows me to then go back for it on Monday and understand what I want to work on this week based on the things that I learned last week, planning that in my calendar and then also making sure that I plan my employees tasks so that they have stuff to do for the week that I can make sure is moving the business forward. So a big goal of my planning sessions on a Monday now is to make sure that I'm not constantly having to get my employee, Liam, give him new tasks throughout the week instead. Instead, I have a load of tasks already pre-planned. So in this case, I've gone through and looked at all of the things that I would like him to do, uh, planned it all out. And then when I have my call with him tomorrow, we'll plan the sprint for the week. So where can we fit these tasks in and get him to uh, work on them overall. At the moment vlog, I'm getting him to do a load of stuff for the website. So with my oversight, he's creating custom mouse animations, etc. And then these are being added to the website. So vlog, here is the week properly planned out. Last week in my review, I said to myself that I was really annoyed with the fact that I wasn't still planning properly and just having stuff where I didn't really know what was going on. Now I have everything planned based on the goals that I set today that I want to achieve. Those goals are to make sure that our front page is planned and implemented on the website to be more like a landing page. So when people land on there from SEO or Google Ads, they will get a very clear picture of how we can help their company. I want at least 10 more prospects in my pipeline and to have sent some DMs as well planned my lead magnet content so that I can start putting that on the website and sending it out to people to sign up and get their email. And I would like a sales presentation. The whole point of the sales presentation is when I'm on a call with somebody and doing these free tip reviews of their website, at the end, I want to be able to go for a presentation that just tells them quickly a bit about me and the services that we offer as a company as well. Vlog, I finally did it. A whole week's worth of content. I've never done Mondays and I'd always miss out on Fridays. But this new workflow that I've got has really increased my productivity. So now I'm much better at post, putting together posts. I have some clickbaity titles, but you can see how these perform this week. Why your website isn't generating 10K a month. Hopefully people will click on that and read the tips that I have on there and quick sell more through your website by doing this. This is a loaded post, so there's an intention here. I'll show you what that means. So ideally what happens is actually they're gonna read about my free Zoom coffee. I told you guys about this strategy last week that I'm trying out, where I just explain what we do on that Zoom coffee and where they can go to book that. I actually need to make this landing page, so that's uh, Wednesday's goal and then gonna give them a link in the comments so they can book with me. Right now though, it's shutdown time, so I'm just gonna do my shutdown process and go to the gym. Morning vlog, just done a massive sales thing. Uh, the workflows that I said in last week's vlog are really helping. Already now I've done all my marketing for the morning and the sales in about two hours and having that checklist to go one by one is really helpful. This morning I'm carrying on with marketing. It seems now that that's spreading over two days rather than just one, because there's just so much to do in terms of creating content, coming up with ideas. This morning I'm going to be changing all of the LinkedIn posts that I made in yesterday's clip into Instagram frames as well. And then I can post those on Instagram later today. It's great to think about how you can reuse content that you're posting on different platforms on another platform as well. 
Gary V has a really good thing where he's like, record a one hour vlog and then you can split that into multiple clips that you put on different channels. It reduces the amount of time that you're spending creating content. Let's test the lighting. Tap on my face. Hey vlog, just putting together a landing page this morning for our free Zoom coffee. I did a really big strategy session where I came up with kind of like a plan for this and the text that I want to do. Uh, it kind of changes as you design, I guess. <laughs> but um, the idea is, is to start sending my marketing traffic, my organic traffic and some paid traffic to this page. And the idea to try and start booking people on calls uh, so I can help them build a website. The main thing here is I'm just offering free advice, getting them on a call, having a chat. Once we've done the whole like, here's my tips on how you can improve your website, like a free consultation call. I then have a presentation at the end where I'm like, what pal, here's how much we charge. Here's what we do. Here are some of our case studies. Uh, let us know what you think. There we have it vlog, an entire landing page made in about an hour and a half. This is probably a really great test to see how well this can perform and then do some A-B testing to try and improve it. My main goal for this is for people to be booking calls. I'm not really trying to show off my design skills or anything like that. I just need to make sure that I provide the right amount of information for a visitor to be able to look at this and go, right, this all makes perfect sense. The video was really nice. I like Harry as a person. I'm gonna book a call with him and go through my website with him. I think a lot of people sometimes can get really hung up on the design and look of a page and forget about actually what are we trying to do in terms of the strategy and the business goal. I'm not the best when it comes to designing as well vlog. I am much more a developer uh, than I am a designer, but I love giving input on design still and motion and all that sort of great stuff. So to my developers out there who maybe don't have the design vernacular to put together a landing page, just copy something, man. As I said to you, it isn't about the design that's the important part. It is the content that's the important part and the strategy of how you're taking them through the page. I would say the design helps, but at the end of the day, if your structure is really poor and you're not convincing them to get on a call with you, then you could have the best design in the world, but if the content sucks, there's no way you're gonna be able to convert them. The more I make websites, the more I realize there's these little bits that add up to a perfect product. The beauty of Webflow is how fast we can build pages out. I was sat in a cafe and developed most of this within an hour, making it nice and quick. I also did this at a cafe. Sometimes it really helps to be in a different place for your focus and also to break up the monotony of being in the office every day. Here's a nice little um, tip if you wanna add video to your website blog. Just use Loom, because it provides a GIF that allows people to see it, but at the same time, they can then just click play. So now they can watch me just like scrolling through and looking at the website so that they can have a take a look at it. This is a really nice way just to show off stuff without having to have like a really big video file that's just gonna take forever to load, you know? I am just taking them through a couple of pages so that they can see the design, but already they get so much more out of this video than they would if it was just a screenshot of the site, for example. Just gonna throw the site into GT Metrics now and make sure that the landing page is nice and fast so people aren't having to wait. Here I am recording the tips video. I'm um, just testing angles and lighting. Always good to have a light to turn on. You can see the difference straight away. So now we're at the end of the week vlog. <laughs> you can see it's a Halloween themed review. Basis of this was to make sure that I got my targets done. So as you can see, the landing page went really well, although uh, I didn't actually get to do the front page. So that's gonna be something that I focus on next week i get a bit scared about sending dms to people on linkedin but i know that it's something that i need to work on and get done i'd managed to do i guess three out of four targets this week i think i was a bit ambitious because i forgot about how long a landing page can actually take to design and develop and kind of underestimated the amount of time but that's fine because it's helping me get better at being able to plan and figure out these things overall. As you can see, I'm still growing on all of my marketing channels as well, but I didn't do any Instagram posts this week. And because of that, my reach bombed. It's a really core cool thing to make sure that you're constantly posting. As you can see, I was having a nice consistent bit of growth on Instagram. And because I didn't post that week, I literally destroyed my reach, which is just, yeah, not great. However, uh, LinkedIn is still doing really well. 
And as you can see from the end of September when I was posting, my PBs are going up. Obviously we had this crazy one where I did like 70,000 views, but overall I'm getting it anywhere between 10 to 15,000 views on posts now, which is what I want. And I just need to start directing them to the landing page as of next week. I don't usually show you guys the action points and learnings in my review, but I thought this was an important one. I actually really love networking and the opportunities it opens. Because of that, I'm gonna start booking more sessions on Lunch Club now. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to Lunch Club where you can sign up. It's a really good tool to meet other business owners around the world who are also looking to network digitally as well. As well as that, that's the end of the week now, so, and the end of the month. So next week, I will be focusing on doing a month review and then planning my November and what I want to achieve by that end of the point.